What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Dylan. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, each and every single one of you are feeling fine and fantastic. We are joined by the one and the only Tanya. Hello. Yes. How I Meet Your Mother, Season 2, Episode 4, Ted Mosby, <laughs> Architect. Very good episode, by the Very way. Very good. Really, All right. really well, funny. That being said, let's jump straight into it then, ladies and gentlemen. Go check this episode out in full oh, over on Patreon while Tanya kicks my whole <laughs> table and set up down. Sorry. Go check it over on Patreon. It'll Got be excited. down in the description down below, ladies and gentlemen. It's without watermarks, without cuts. It's just a couple of dollars, and you can unlock everything, guys. Daily content galore. Just go check, take a look. Anyway, let's do it. Let's get it. Let's go. Sometimes a relationship goes so smoothly for so long that you think it will be that way forever. It never is. We just had our first fight. We had our first fight. Oh, no, what'd you fight about? Oh, no. What'd you fight about? <laughs> A few months ago, my architecture firm was approached to design this new building. It would be a huge project for his firm. The head architect unveils his new design to the whole company. No. no. Yes. It's a 78-story pink marble tower with a rounded top and two spherical entryways at the front. So it's the whole package. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. I had to. <laughs> if it was me, I could have designed something amazing. Instead, I'm spending 12 hours a day designing the cornices. So you and Ted had your first fight. It obviously ended well. Actually, it didn't end at all. It's what I do. When my grandma died, I got a perm. Two tragedies in one day. The thing is, Ted has been literally complaining about work nonstop for weeks. When I came over today, I was kind of done. How was your day? Good. Aren't you going to ask how my day was? No, I know how it was. It was awful. I listen to your work stories all the time. I don't want to be rude here, but my work stories are interesting. Ooh. Robin, what? You should work at a suicide hotline. And then it got ugly. What I don't do is tell you the same story over and over again. You wouldn't watch the same movie over and over again, would you? Maybe a great movie like Die Hard, but Field of Dreams, once is more than enough. Oh. <laughs> So that's your go-to bad She movie. literally says Die Hard and then compares it to Field of Dreams. Well, okay, I can't because I've never seen Die Hard before, so. But Field of Dreams? Are you kidding me? Tanya's never seen it before, so she has no idea what we're talking about. But the father-son relationship based around Field of Dreams is one of the best you'll ever see in your entire existence. <laughs> Field of Dreams is one of the greatest films I've ever seen. It's just... It's, it's incredible. It's about ghost baseball players. I think it's you stupid. Idiot. <laughs> now he's all mad at me about the stupid movie. Oh, well, I would be he's too. He's upset because you wouldn't listen to him, not because you didn't like some movie. How do you not like Field of Dreams? Foundation. See the reaction of those two? You see? If he's really droning on, you can always practice saying the alphabet backwards. It's really hard, even when you're sober. That's what I tried to explain to the cop. No, I've never been in a relationship this serious before. I should probably go tell him I'm sorry, shouldn't I? How comes before Q? <laughs> then at the end of the movie, when he has a catch with his dad, like, like he never did when he was young enough for it to matter. That's what got me. Something else? Yeah, if you saw me in that movie, I was crying too throughout it. Daniel would never understand it. No, Even if you watch it, you wouldn't understand it. I don't want. I don't like. No, but it. no, no, but it's got. It, I'm, I'm telling you because it's the father son relationship. You won't understand. Maybe you would, but you won't be like as emotional as being a a boy. Yeah, because as a boy, you got to realize that our fathers grew up in a moment where it's like it was tough love with our fathers with boys yeah mm -hmm. and it's different because you want you never you you rarely experience that that's why sometimes i give it to drake yeah the 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 tearful love moments yeah because they're memories that will last with him yeah and yeah, I don't want to spoil the movie. Hanging with us tonight. I've got an awesome party lined up. It's going to be another one of your weird doll guy parties. That was a poker game. It's the first law school party of the year, and it's going to be awesome. I'd love to join you at that one, but I got tickets to Foxy Boxing. But I got to get back to my apparently boring job. Food. Lots of chicks think architects are hot. You should use the architect angle with the ladies. First of all, I have a girlfriend. Second, the architect angle doesn't even work on her. And third, I can't imagine that working on anyone ever. That's because you're always like, Ted Mosby, architect. If it were me, I'd be like, Ted Mosby, architect. Anything sounds impressive when it's said with the right attitude. Marshall Erickson, recently dumped and heading to a lame party. Oh, ladies, please take it easy. Hello. 
All right, we're gonna take off. Wait up, I'll leave with you guys. <laughs> Ted Mosby, architect. Trust me. You just left the full play! Just out of curiosity, if a guy told you he was an architect, what would you think of that? Are you kidding? Architects are hot. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Carl, is Ted still here? No. Hey, Lily. You still single? No. I've poured a lot of free drinks for you over the years. Do you really want to be with a woman who would trade sex for beer? Only if you're into it. I wonder where Ted went. Ted Mosby? The architect? <laughs> oh, he is such a cool guy. He was here earlier. What made you decide you wanted to become an architect? Soul of an artist, hands of a master craftsman. It was inevitable, I guess. You should draw me. Well, I could try, but you might end up looking like a mid-century tri-level. <laughs> if you want, my friend Marshall invited me to this party we could all go to. He's just a lawyer, but and somebody has to push the paper around for us creative types. Buster to a party? Oh my god, are you okay? It's a win-win. Ted got to vent and I don't have to hear it. Maybe after he's done with the talkie talk, he'll come. What the hell? She is so self-centered. I'm sorry, I can't control. Uh, I'm not gonna get angry. <laughs> he is honestly the most self-centered person I've ever freaking seen as a character. But I've, 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 I said it, and someone said I wasn't right. But she's oh really my god! Did you hear what she just said? To relationships. Maybe after he's done with the talkie talk, he'll come over and I'll get the fun part. What is wrong with you? That's Barney. You know how when he tells you boring work stories, you're supposed to listen. When he picks up some random girl at a bar, you're supposed to freak out. I'm not freaking out because in my mind, she's fat. She's a kickboxing instructor. Her ass looks better than my face. All right, we'll swing by the party. The party was for some of Marshall's classmates from Columbia Law School. Damn, these are some drunk almost lawyers. Who wants to shave my ass? That guy I went on to become a Supreme Court Justice. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, welcome to the party, yeah! Hey, drunk legal dude, um, have you seen Marshall Erickson? He was with a guy named Ted. You mean Ted Mosby, the architect? What a visionary. Yeah, they were here. But none of that acclaim means anything compared to the joy of seeing the sun rise over your first building. I would love to watch the sun rise with you. She let us shave your ass tonight. <laughs> no way! Hey, Marshall, where's Lily? Everyone take a seat. Lily actually called off the wedding this summer to go to San Francisco. We're broken up. Her name wasn't on your lease, was it? New York State law, you're not obligated to give her half the deposit when you move. Don't forget the precedent set by Smith versus Rosenblatt, 74. Any personal effects she left in your house or dwelling become yours. And this is why I say that lawyers, no offense to any lawyers out there, but lawyers are cold-hearted. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, man, like, lawyers, like... <sighs> <laughs> Guys, can we cease and desist with the lawyer speak for a minute? The love that made you all believe in love, that's dead now. You should sue her. Uh, no, love won't die. You should sue love her. Love won't die. If the love is still there from both parties, it will come back around and the universe will bring you back together. <laughs> that's our attorney general. Yeah. <laughs> Marshall's still hung up on our breakup because I listened to him. Back to the sun rising over Ted and, uh, oh, what tasteful way did you describe her? Smackable ass. Yes, that's the young lady. I know the balancer at this techno club, Posers. Do you feel like dancing? There is no way Ted went dancing. Ted hates clubs. Oh, yeah, I love clubs. Hey, Marshall, you up for some super loud repetitive music that hasn't changed since the mid-90s? Um, only always. He went dancing with this girl? Dancing is bad. Dancing leads to sex. I'm, I'm, I'm telling him that I was wrong and I'm sorry and I totally want to listen to his stupid stories. He's not answering. Calling Marshall. Marshall, hi, it's Robin. Can I talk to Ted? No, Ted's not here tonight. He's, uh, he's working. Okay. Bye. Marshall just lied. Ted's cheating on me. What? All right, so the thing is, she was so confident he was not going to do anything. But now she's feeling insecure. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to listen. She didn't give a shit about his problems. But now he's exerting himself and making himself happy, having some fun. Now she wants to pay attention. For a couple guys who came in here earlier, one's about 6'4", 210, sandy brown hair, and the other's a cheating bastard. I'm gonna need to refresh my memory. Baby knows how this game is played. How's a 20 help your memory? Thanks, but seriously, it was crazy tonight. You really do need to refresh my memory. Can I have the... That's cool, you keep that. One of them's an architect. Ted Mosby, the architect? Oh, yeah, he was here. I live across the street. You wanna come over? 
Well, I don't know. I suppose I should at least give you a ride home. Hop on. <laughs> what are you doing? Galloping. Proved it, all right? The whole Ted Mosby Ugh. architect thing works. You're a little worried that a certain somebody might find out that you're doing this? And this isn't you, Ted. It is tonight. <laughs> this girl where does she live telling you that for less than 20 bucks amount of money i'm cash too i'll take your purse my purse yeah my girl likes clutches <laughs> bitch is lucky i brought my small purse no room for my gun the building with the green light apartment 3c are you gonna kick this girl's ass yeah and steal her purse <laughs> i can't believe he's cheating on me <sighs> see let's do this you ready what is ted doing anyway I, I, keep, keep watching, keep watching. Do I not see if it's unlocked? It's unlocked. Get in there and kick some spankable ass. <laughs> I'm the problem. I don't know how to be a girlfriend. I, I took the nicest guy in the world and I made him a cheater. Get in there and beat Ted up. I'll handle the slutty kickboxer. Actually, I'll take Ted. Let's do this. Thank God you're here. Can you help with this? I need nails. Okay, I'm totally lost here. Where's Ted? Ted, he's at work. How did you get here? Awesome story, as per usual. Ted Mosby, the architect. <laughs> there you go. Mr. Brady scored a babe like Carol. Solid point. I got my binocular for boxy boxing. Woo. And you are just in time. Girls, uh, I gotta go. You don't even know your name to look out for your buildings. Yeah, stay. Okay, you were right. The architect thing totally works. I have a girlfriend, and I gotta get back to work. Sorry, my, uh... Intern had to leave. Well, that's too bad. I'm Anna, by the way. Ted Mosby, architect. But none of that acclaim means anything compared to the joy of seeing the sun rise over your first building. <laughs> what are you doing? Galloping! Woo! <laughs> Proved that the whole Ted Mosby architect thing worked. Aren't you afraid a certain somebody might find out about this? And this isn't you, Ted. It is tonight! <laughs> That led to a couple of hours that I cannot, yeah. as a gentleman, divulge to you. We did it, right here, and here, and here. Why would you use Ted's name? I've had some recent bad press on the World Wide Web, so I'm taking a T.O. on the whole using my real name thing. Look at me, I'm acting crazy and jealous and paranoid. This is how people act in relationships. I haven't been crazy or jealous or paranoid in months, and I really miss it. Come on, let's go before she gets out of the shower. You're such a pig. You're not even going to say goodbye? I composed a lovely form letter for use in just such an occasion. Just fill out her name and then something with an A. Ah, I'll just put a residence. Go, 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 go. Robin took a long walk that night. She thought about how much easier it was just to be alone. And then she came to see me. Hey. Hey. I brought donuts. And I don't want to brag, but they're filled with jelly. So, uh... How was your night? Fine, nothing exciting. How was yours? You really want to hear about boring architect stuff? Yes, I do. Yep. I'm sorry See, about earlier. Go. Danya has to sit through me talking about sports, and I have to see her listen, listen to her talk about other certain things that I don't want to discuss on camera because certain people may be watching. How do I do talking Mums about? Mums at school. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Daniel would talk for hours upon hours about it, and I have to listen to it. They're annoying as crap. Most of them. Some are some are nice, but seventy percent are just annoying. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I never even saw all of Field of Dreams. I fell asleep halfway through. The best part's the last twenty minutes. Well, maybe they should have moved that part up a little bit earlier. Because what I'm trying to say is, <coughs> I love being the person you bitch to. So, how was your day, Mister? Architect. Oh, I like the way you say that. <laughs> you want to see the building that'll make every man in Spokane feel inadequate? Obviously. You know, you didn't mention all the foliage around the base. If you trim that back, the rest would look bigger. You don't have to tell me. I've sort of been working on my own idea of what I think the building should be. You know that time we went to Spokane and I pointed out that skyscraper? That was the first building I ever designed. And that night was the first time I showed anyone my first drawing of it. Ted, this is amazing. Thanks. It's not like it'll ever come to anything. It come to something. You know, girls find architects very hot. Okay. Dear resident, <laughs> the time we spent together, however long it was, meant the world to me. I am a ghost. I can only materialize once every decade on the anniversary of my death. Perhaps we will meet again in another decade. 
provided you keep your figure. All my love from the beyond. Barney. Barney? Who the hell is Barney? <laughs> there you go. That's his fault because he, he he has had all the letters addressed from Barney. Yeah, he had them all That's written. Like, exactly. Ah. Already before the, he actually goes with the person. Another good episode. Oh. I mean, this episode... It's very good. Though. Stretch. Do you need more space or what? Oh, sorry. Stretching. Oh, gosh. This episode, we got to see a little bit of an insecure sort of phase from uh, from Robin. Hmm. She's always acting as this tough person, and she's got a lot of insecurities about her. Yep. And we got to see that, and we got to see a side of Ted where we think now that he's actually a very loyal person. Mm-hmm. Which we sort of knew when it comes to friends. He's very loyal with friends. But quite interesting. Quite, quite interesting. No, it's, it's really good because you, you start, like, they show it to you as if Ted is the one doing everything. Correct, yeah. And you're like, bloody Ted, he's a pig. Yeah? That's why at the end I was like, <laughs> <coughs> I was like, what the fuck is Ted doing? Yeah, like, all of a sudden out of nowhere, like, just one little argument fight. Yeah, boom. I'm like, what, what? And then they go in there and they find and they find Barney on the bed. And I was like, yeah, of course, it had to be him. <laughs> <laughs> and then they show you everything with him in all the scenes. And you say, like, yeah, okay, now it makes sense. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. So, yeah, another... That's uh, another, another one of Barney's tricks to get uh, women. As I was about to say, another one of uh, <laughs> Barney's tricks that uh, has put upon his friends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. Without Barney, they, I don't think uh, without Barney, I don't think they get up to this much, uh, this many activities inside of the TV series. Yeah. Now, I mean, I know sometimes the thing he does is, is oh, ninety percent of the yeah. times it's and like, a, what the hell's wrong with you? And and he he takes advantage of women, but he's oh a my woman God, come on, he yeah. is it's so funny. It is funny. It is, it is funny. funny. It is. It is. It is. And. Um, you have to uh, make sure that you're not a uh, what do they call them? People they get offended by everything. Yeah, I forgot. There's a certain name that they call. I can't remember. But you have to be those type of people to get offended by these sorts of things. Mm-hmm. So, no. well, they did cancel Seinfeld. So, and I never got to fucking watch it. So, there you go. It is what it is. Only yeah. because there was a apparently there was an episode where there was a contest where the female character was like that. It was like first to first to masturbate to hold on to the masturbation for as long as possible. Mm-hmm. And apparently there was a female involved. So it's like I don't know. Okay. Sort of, yeah, people got upset about it and it got cancelled. Mm-hmm. So I never got a chance to watch it. Don't know where I can get it now. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much. Eric will be all over that in the comment section. Just watch. <laughs> oh shoot! There you go. Maybe there's that? a ghost here too. That was a sign. There you go. Exactly, <laughs> guys. We're heading out. Peace out. Go check this one for over Patreon. Peace. Bye. Bye.